Hey everyone, I'm here again with another video for y'all with another reading. I'm welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm Donisha. Um, and welcome back to everyone who's been around. You know, it's always good to have y'all back. If you are in fact new, I hope you subscribe. It'll be really wonderful to have you here. Okay. Um, I hope everybody is doing great. So this reading is, as you can see from the title, it is is love near okay so i did a poll and this one got the most votes about 170 something people voted um and at the time that i'm doing this um video the one that's in the you know that in the lead is is love near now i am doing this the day before i upload it so so far you know is love uh near is you know got the most votes and is at 40%. Now, I am going to do the rest of the uh, ones that's in the poll. I'm going to do them in order from, you know, whichever one got the most votes to the least. I've always did that on my channel. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, again, the one that came in first, which is, um, they got the most votes, excuse me, uh, which is the one that I'm going to do in this video, is Love Near at 40%. Uh, it was a tie between... Messages from the Departed, and Will I Be Financially Free One Day? So those two are coming in at a tie, but the one that I'm going to do after Is Love Near is going to be Messages from the Departed, and then I'll do the Financially Free um, One Day one after that one, because I want to do the Messages from the Departed one the most <laughs> myself. Um, those came in at 21%, I believe, yeah. Um... And the one that came in with the least votes was my gifts and talents, which I'm shocked by that. I don't know. I thought that one would have, you know, got the mo more votes than will I be financially free one day. But um, I guess it makes sense. And that one had 17%. So, again, I am going to do all of them. So, you know, if you wanted, you know, another reading to have the most votes, you know, you wanted to see that one, I will get to those. Okay, so is that off to the side? So that's what we're gonna do. Is love near? Um, the group selection. Some of you probably already made your group selection or well pick, chose your groups. Um, we have these playing cards. It is a pick a card reading. So um, group one is gonna be represented by the five of clubs. Group two is gonna be represented by the two of spades. Group three is going to be represented by the Ace of Diamonds. <clears throat> so once again, group one is the Five of Clubs. Group two is the Two of Spades. And group three is the Ace of Diamonds, okay? Uh, please take your time when making a selection. Um, that way you get the group that's most accurate for you. I mean, you can pick more than one, but I advise you to probably just pick one for this type of reading so you just won't confuse yourself. Um, but if you feel drawn to more than one, you can pick more than one. Give it a pause. Don't rush. Um, you shouldn't be drawn to the one that, like, immediately drawn to it, especially if you are connected, you know, and you're in tune with yourself. But, you know, again, give it a pause if you need time. I just want you to keep in mind this will be a general reading, so not everything will resonate with everybody out there as it is for a collective. So just take whatever feels right for you and leave them other messages to other people. You will not have to accept none of these messages. You can't reject them. And uh, with that being said, let's begin with group number one, okay? Hello and welcome to everyone who selected group. Number one, to the beautiful people who selected group number one, okay? Is love near? That's what the reading is going to be. You guys pick, picked five of clubs. Uh, maybe the number five has a significant meaning to you. It doesn't have to. It was just here for you to help you with your selection. But, uh, yeah, that this card can represent the um, five of wands and tarot. Maybe there's some battles. That you're going through when it comes to, you know, your love life or, you know, a conflict or something. Or maybe you're conflicted about something when it comes to your love life, okay? So, we want to know, is love near? Okay. 
So maybe you can see, oh, okay. Well, we can already see that there may be a postponement for you. Hmm. You see postponement. It feels like something is postponed. I feel like some of you guys been alone for a long time in this group, like by yourself. Maybe for some of you, you've never been in a relationship before in this group. Or it's been a long time, like more than five years since, you know, your last relationship. Is love near for group number one? Uh, give us some messages. Okay, so a change, which is interesting. That's the Wheel of Fortune. So destiny is at work here when it comes to your love life. Because I'm hearing you're going to marry the one. I mean, we've got the yin and the yang energy in between, in the middle here. So maybe a love life, uh, there's going to be a significant change. Uh, the five can represent like change is the number of change as we know that. Um, so there is about to be a change in your love life here. I believe this is the number 10, isn't it? I could be, I could be wrong. Maybe there's a number 20. I'm horrible at Roman numerals, but we have source at the bottom. So there's going to be a change in your love life here. And I feel like, hmm, destiny is here because that's what the Wheel of Fortune can be. Destiny as well. Mm -hmm. Is love near any other information? The creator. Yeah, the creator is in control here. There's a message saying here, stop, you know, feeling down, slowing down. This is the night of pentacles. Stop feeling insecure when it comes to your love life. Slowing down is going to be the night of pentacles. It may be slow. I'm hearing it may be slow, but it's just about here. The creator is working here. The creator got someone very special for you. Transformation. Yeah, change transformation. I feel like this love will come. Yeah, the source again at the bottom of the deck. Source is here with y'all. You have a special union. That's why. So the uh, slowing down card gives me divine time. And our things have been slow. We had to get you set and ready. You had to go through some sort of transformation. Now, maybe some of you guys went through a transformation or a transition, some type of change. Or it's going to happen like after you move, after you start something new, um, after you go through maybe a physical transformation, like a body transformation, a mental transformation, um, a transformation in mindset. It's going to be after some type of transformation change or some type of, I, I don't want to say like a pivot, like a tie, I don't want to say tile movement. Uh, after you go through something. So maybe you done went through something recently. And that's just confirming that love is in fact near for you. But the reason why it has been slow. Because of, I'm hearing divine creation. Because the divine here. So we have this. This card can actually represent the king of wands in this deck. It's like the king of fire. So this is the queen of wands. So the feminine had to go through this change in order to meet the masculine. So again, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman watching. You can still be mostly lean towards the feminine. So yeah, that just tells us that, you know, this is a, a, a counterpart. That's why, you know, it's taken as long as it's taken. The world completion. But you will reach this person. The world, the creator is sending this person out in the world. Like this person exists. Some of you have been questioning that. Is love near the seven of cups? And give me one more. Justice. Yeah, this is karmic. So this is going to happen regardless. Justice. But you had to go through this transformation, this change first. So that things could come into balance. Uh, Things could come into balance and... The divine can get y'all together. Now, it's not just you. It's this person, too. They had to... Because you're going to mirror each other. So, they had to go through the change as well. I feel like the number seven is important for y'all union. Seven, seven, seven. It can be the seventh house relationship. This is the person some of you guys will marry, like legally married. Marry like you believe in marriage here. But I feel like a lot of you who chose this group, you do. Slowing down. You feel like some of you guys feel like you're dreaming or you've been dreaming of this person. You might have like a lot of dreams about love or about, you know, meeting with a mystery person. 
or being in a relationship with a Mr. Person. Now, this person has a face and everything, but you don't know how they look. Some of you feel as though you're waiting for nothing. But you've already put that seed out there on what you want. Now, because uh, you want this type of person, it's taken a while because spirit has got to line everything, you know. Because this person is their own person. They're their own soul. So, they got to be in alignment with you as well. They got their own path. They're their own individual. And that's something that you have to remember, okay. It's not just you, you know, calling this person in and they're going to just come. Spirit got to work around their life as well. They got to be prepared as well. Now, um, is love near? I feel like at the time that you're watching this video, okay, you might meet this person and I'm just going to keep it real. Maybe next year. That's the closest um, I can get you. Maybe the... Next year can be a possible meeting. So that is kind of, that is near. Now, don't let this upset you. You can't put a time on stuff. It's always going to be divine timing over everything. But if you do want some type of time, i say like next year sometime. Okay. Which that's not far away. Um, at the time that you're watching this video. Now, the number seven can be important. Um... You can take the time that I'm letting you go, um, letting you go, letting you know. You can take that as like a hint or maybe the number seven could be a hint for you as well. So apply that how you would like maybe within the next seven months. Okay. It can be seven weeks from now. I'm not getting seven days, seven weeks or seven months. Maybe doing a seven zodiac sign season, which is, is Libra, right? <laughs> but yeah. Which Libra season is coming up. Shout out to all the lead Libras out there, okay? Libra season going to be soon. Well, not soon, but, you know, <laughs> it's going to be our turn in a little bit. So, you know, if you're a Libra, shout out to you again, okay? We almost there. But that's what I see as far as time goes for y'all. Let me see something with the number uh, seven. If you're into numerology, you probably know what the number seven is. Wait, give me a second. Um, every time I go to like type something, It'd be freezing up every time you know how every time you want to show somebody something or like do something it like freezes up like <laughs> your device okay It says, I'm just going by what Google is giving me. It says the logical, is the logical mystic. That's what I'm saying. Like, this group is, you have a divine union. Okay, this is the group with the strong divine union. Source is here. So, there's a waiting period with the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is interesting. The knight of pentacles is down here. Look, this person is going to be worth the wait. The knight of pentacles is worth the wait. Okay. Maybe, uh... You know, this can signify as well. Somebody can, some of y'all can also be like a fire sign or earth signs here as well. The logical mystic, the spiritual analyst, the lonely humanitarian. So maybe it's the truth seeker. So you guys can be mystic, spirit, very spiritual individuals. Not everybody who watch tarot readings are spiritual people. Some people just watch tarot readings because they like to watch tarot readings. They may not be a spiritual people. So maybe you in this group, you are spiritual. You like tarot, but you are spiritual first and foremost, right? So I feel like this is divine union, okay? Um, that's why with the number seven showing up here. It could be that you guys can be like pet number seven. Maybe you was born on the seventh. 
Maybe your birthday year ends with the number seven. This is going to be confirmation um, or soul number, whatever. There can be a connection to the number seven. Maybe you see seven, seven, seven or in, in some type of way. Um, seven days of the week. I don't know what I'm, what I'm saying. Maybe you might meet this person on a Sunday. Like just, you know, take note of some of these um, hints, you know. Hmm. But I do feel like love is near because, I mean, next year is near, okay? That can be the beginning of next year, mid, or the ending of next year, but that's not far away. Or within seven months. So that is not far away at all. Mysterious. Maybe you've been alone for a long time. Again, or you've never been in a relationship. You're expecting a specific union. Again, when it comes to divine unions, these things take time, Okay. You don't just want to be with anybody. You want to be with the one. And so that's what I'm picking up here, okay? So let's see. Let's get to one of these. Any other message about um, is love near? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Big, are you serious? Big happy change is not a word. Change keep coming through here. Big happy. See, after big happy changes, after changes, I can't make this up. That's when, you know, this relationship, uh, well, <laughs> this person will, you know, come into fruition or, you know, love will, will come after this change. Now, if you're expecting, if something in your life, you're making a change or something has changed or something just changed or you made some type of transition or move or anything along those lines of changing something in some sort of way, then you know is right around the corner for you. We have ask your angels. And all you got to do is ask your angels to send you uh, some signs and synchronicities. And when I say ask your angels, I mean your spirit guides for, uh, yeah, for this, like, give you some signs. Yeah, again, spirit guides want to come out. Hmm. It's interesting because this is exactly what I was saying. I feel like, you know, some of you guys here could be, I'm not going to take these. That's too many. Could be like, long, not loners, but like you solo for a long, long time or just since birth. Okay. <laughs> Which ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. This thing. Give me, uh, give me one of these. Anything else for group number one for is love near? But yeah, it's gonna be hap um happen after big happy changes. These changes will be good. Okay, big happy changes. Yeah, love. Interesting. You got the love card. That's what you want. Is love near? Yeah. We have this love is forever and always. There is love in this connection. Do what you love. Deep affection. So this will be the love of a lifetime. You are, this person is coming. And if you're wondering, like, if you are actively manifesting, or if you're not, or you just want love, you pray for someone, whether you call it manifesting or not, it's working. Okay? The person is coming. Those signs and stuff that you do see for a lot of you is, you know, this is your confirmation that you're not tripping, okay? You're not tripping. If you've been having these dreams, you've been seeing signs in many different ways or different forms because there's many different of y'all. Many of y'all watching, so you see signs different ways. Yes, that's your confirmation, okay? For this, okay? This is your confirmation for that, okay? This is, this, this is going to be a love that is forever and always. There will be love in this connection, Um. Maybe for some of you, you will meet this person when you're doing something you love because you made a change. So you're doing something that you love. That can be confirmation for some of y'all as well there. But yeah, there is love. Love is near for you. I gave you a little bit of time. But yeah, if we just want to know the question, you know, is love near? It is near. It's not far, far away. It's right around the corner for y'all, which next year, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, maybe you want to hear something else, but that's just if you want a certain time. But pay attention to that number seven, okay? That's going to be more important, as well as divine timing, going to be the most important, okay? But that's all I have for everybody who selected group number one. Thank you for watching. Um, if you did, in fact, enjoy the reading, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. 
Um, if you would like a private reading from me, all of my information is in the description. Well, all of that information is in the description, like what I offer, the prices and everything like that, my email. So make sure you read the description, see what you want, email me, let me know, and I'll get back to you when I can, okay? If this group did not resonate, you didn't like it, or you do want to hear another message just because to see what it's going to say, you're always welcome to do that as well. And until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye. Have a good one, okay? Hopefully you come back for another one. Hello and welcome to everybody who selected group number two. You guys picked um, <laughs> two of spades, okay? So maybe the number two is important to you in some sort of way. Now, this reading is going to be, is love near, okay? Is it near for you? All right. So again, this number can be important. Maybe it has a connection to you in some sort of way. It doesn't have to. It, it was just mainly here to help you with, I'm getting tongue-tied. <laughs> It was just mainly here to help you with your group selection, okay? But if it does hold a meaning to you, this can definitely be a sign, okay? So, two, um, two, it, it can be a number of, like, partnership. Um, let me look that up right quick. Two can be a number of, like, balance. Um, hmm, I'm looking at them, I'm looking at Google for like the numerology. I mean, look, I'm not to some of y'all who know a lot about numerology, it's like, well, it means this. Well, you know, I'm trying to see what it means. Peace, peace. Be at peace when it comes to your love life. Be at peace with it. Make peace with where you're at right now. Okay? When it comes to your love life. Okay, so let's see. Is love near for you? Let's see what message we get. Okay. Let Some of you, like, had, like, relationships that didn't work out, that you feel like you wasted so much time. Some of you even, like, was in long-term, or, like, in one long-term relationship. And so now you're back out in the dating scene, and you like, there's no hope because, you know, the market is trash. You know what I mean? So that's how you're feeling right now. Or some of you, like, you know, you just feel as though there's no hope. It's just hopeless. Like, real love is not out there. And spirit is like, you need to dead that thought, okay? Let's see. Is love near for group number two? Is love near for group number two? We have comparison. It's the final We have sorrow. Yeah, you guys have been... Yeah, this this can be the two of swords and tarot as well. Like it's something you're not seeing or um you're just it's a lot of swords energy. So it's like a lot of mental things going on with you when it comes to your love life. But you need to be more we have change interest in this card came out for group number one. It came out. Your situation is going to change. Like, hmm. sometimes you get into that. I feel like some of you, maybe you have siblings. Some of you have some siblings. Now, it's not going to be for everybody. In the group, and they all partnered up. Everybody around, see, like everybody around you coupled up. And you like, I'm just, I'm the only one. It's like, it's like nobody is out there for me. You're starting to feel like nobody is out there for you. And, you know, it's becoming, it's like you're, you, you are at the place where I should, maybe I should just accept it. Like, maybe I'm just meant to be alone. Maybe I should just accept my situation. You like, you, I want to make peace with that. And so you've been 
like just shutting yourself off or like um you try to avoid things that have things to do with couples or like try to avoid things like maybe you try to avoid posts that had people who are in marriages or coupled up or people who have families and stuff like that because it hurts you when you see that stuff so you try to like avoid looking at that type of stuff or um just just avoid anything like maybe you don't even watch romantic movies or um read romantic books or whatever you try to like erase you're trying to forget about love <laughs> and that's not gonna work honey because you are a person that deep down you want to be loved you want to be in a relationship and it's gonna always be that because that's something that you desire so avoiding it is not gonna help I feel like you should accept your current situation that you're single right now, but you don't have to accept being single for the rest. Like, you don't have to accept, okay, I'm just going to accept that. I'm going to just be single for the rest of my life. No, don't look at it. Like, just accept that you're single right now and make peace with that. That's why the word peace came through. Because you're eating yourself up with that or trying to avoid stuff. Because you're sitting up there, it's with the... Or, like, you may look at yourself like, damn, what's wrong with me? Like, I, if this person can get in a relationship about this, this, and the third, like, damn, what, what, what's, what's the problem with me? Is it me? Am I, like, not good enough? Am I not attractive enough? And, and you know, there, it's nothing to do with you. It's everything to do with, you know, your. sometimes it has something to do with your current energy. It has something to do with your expectations and stuff like that, uh, what you're looking for. Sometimes it's spirit that, you're at a place. You're never going to be somewhere where you're not supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? It could also be that, you know, that negativity, you're putting that out there, which is pushing that desired love further and further away from you because you're trying to avoid it. You're like, I'm, I'm going to just accept it. I'm going to be alone. You're saying that. And so how do you expect to have love in your life? You have this negative mindset towards it. You know what I mean? This is I feel like you need to, you know, let it let it go. That's why we got playful. And enjoy the moment. Like be in this moment. Once you be in this moment, you forget about everything else. And then that's when that person makes an appearance. That's when you be led to this person. We have a great bear. That would be the judgment card. Nine of vessels. The number nine can be significant for this group. So you got the number nine and two, which I will look up the number nine as well in a minute here. We have the nine of arrows. See, yeah, you've been a uh, struggle. Eight of, uh, see that the, the eight of swords, again, eight of swords. You've been struggling. We have the ten of bowls. Yeah. The answers at the bottom of the deck. This is uh, the number. I mean, would be here hierophant card. That would be the hierophant, the ancestor. It could be that you know there was a little. There was some dues that need to be. You had to do. Uh, this person could. The person that you you're gonna be with could have a lot of karmic stuff that they had to work through first before meeting you as well as you. So that can be another reason why as well. Um, just a lot of stuff from a past life or just, you know, um, this, this card is up under, under there. Just a lot of stuff that both of you had to get through. It has something to do with you guys. It's like bloodline and things of that, like with your, with your ancestors and things of that nature. Um, but this is, you know, um, somebody who you'll have a special connection with that's coming in with the ancestors. That now, for some of you, you know, you could, this can be somebody you'll have a long, long-term relationship with, or you can get married to. Because we do have this card here. This would be the, hmm, I'm not sure. It's number 11, but I think they want this number 11 to be, Strength in this deck because originally strength is the number 11 and ju and uh justice is number eight. So I'm thinking that you know, I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, that from when I read from the book, there this person will be your strength. Yeah, you just been have like burning yourself, like 
you feel like you're an issue, like you, it's something that you're doing wrong. And sometimes it's not that. It's just the way that it is, you know? So the number nine here, uh, let me see. Let me get the meaning here of the number nine. Maybe you see like a lot of twos and nines a lot. Maybe, you know, two or nine could be like something connected to y'all birthday uh, month or date. Or maybe it's the last number of of the year you was born. Um, maybe like 1989 or like 1999. Something like that. Um, 1979 or like maybe 1992, 82, 2002, you know, Whenever you may have been born, it can be that. Um, it feel like for some of you, maybe you always help you help other people find love, or you always I don't know you've helped people find love, but you can't find love yourself. You'll have a deep connection with this person when you meet them. Um, I feel like what'll help you meet this person is uh, doing something risky or taking a chance on something or doing something that's not something you would normally do. That could be of help. Maybe also um, traveling a lot more. It doesn't even have to be like like out of your country or state or you know your just travel and do something else you shit travel on the other side of town and go to the side of town that you don't normally go to now i ain't saying go to the side of town that's you know dangerous but you know do something different that'll help that's now this is not a message for everybody but you know for some of y'all if you resonate with it doing something new like changing up your routine will help. Now, the number nine could be, maybe within nine months, you can meet this individual if you want, like, a time period. Maybe the month of September can be important. Now, at the time I'm recording this, we are in August, so, you know, maybe some as soon as next month for some of you. And then, um, what I wanted to say, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Maybe even Taurus season can be significant for some of y'all. I'm not sure why I'm saying Taurus season, but it popped up in my head, okay? So love is really near for this group, for sure. But, you know, we need you to ease your mind, okay? Your wish, go back to this. When you believe that wishes can come true, some, it's, it's, some of you are starting to, like, believe that you can't have what you want, and he's like, sometimes I just can't have, I'm not going to be able to have what I want, I'm never, and I just have to accept that, you don't have to accept that, right, that's, you don't have to accept that, we we have 999 coming through here, three times, that 999, let's see, let's, let's get, let me see what's the general meaning, and then I'm going to, See, completion and new beginnings. It urges to trust the process of life, brings closure to relationships and careers, and encourages reflection and growth. Maybe there's some inner reflection you need to go do because mentally you're, it's a conflict. Embracing change. I feel like that's going to be a main message for a lot of y'all in these groups. Embrace, doing something different. Practicing non-resistance. Maybe that's what you need to do. Stop resisting. And remaining open-hearted, or like be open-hearted, be open to love. Okay. A completion was the beginning of a new one. Doing something new, doing something different. Definitely. But I definitely feel like that's gonna be a big message here for a lot of these groups, like for the collective. But again. It's going to always be divine timing over everything. But if you do want a time, don't 
take this um take this with a grain of salt what i'm gonna tell you maybe the month of september can be a meeting because it's the ninth month um And what the number? I said something about Taurus. Maybe, are you serious? Maybe the number, again, the number two. I'm, what, what is going on? Why am I being cool? Oh, the number two ain't Taurus, the second zodiac sign? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the number nine, maybe even Sagittarius season. So love, like I said, love is really near for y'all, for sure. Romance. This is means a significant person. Like romance is coming. A special connection is coming for you. You will be able to experience romance. Then I say romance. You're trying to avoid it when you are naturally somebody who's always wanted to be in love, right? To have a a, rela a romantic relationship or a deep connection. You've always wanted that. You can't avoid that because that's who you are at heart, okay? So let's get some. That means it's coming soon. Okay. Matter of fact, before I uh, pull one of these, give me a second. I'm glad it's right behind me. <laughs> so I ain't got to search for it. Let me read the message for romance out of the book. I feel called to do that. Okay, a very important relationship is about to enter. Yeah, so love is near for y'all. Or has recently entered your life. Um, this is the romance you have been waiting for. Like all partnerships, which I talked about that with the number two being the number of partnerships, there may be ups and downs, but don't let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. Okay. Okay, so if your question was about a current relationship, you can expect parties to become closer to one another. We wasn't asking about a current relationship. Past disagreements will fade away. I'm just reading the additional messages here. And trust will grow. Our relationships has its peaks and valleys. Okay. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. So that was just the additional messages. But overall, this is telling you that a very important relationship is about to enter your life. Okay. It's about to enter. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Have faith. Love is coming your way. Love is coming to stay. So I feel like it's going to be soon. You got to want it. You got to want it, okay? Sometimes you listen to these messages and you don't want it bad enough, okay? You got to want it. You got to want it and you got to give space for it to come through, okay? To come through or to come in. So let's get this uh, We have familiar. Hmm. So it may feel, maybe there's a past life connection with this person. You and this person has a past life. This feels like I know it. Close relation. Knowledge on the subject. Recognizing person, place, or thing. Deja vu. So maybe you might have that feeling when you meet this person. Like, oh, this person feels familiar. You're going to feel like you've known this person for your entire, like, forever. And that's because maybe you and this in person has a past life connection. Now, maybe for some of you, you will find that you and this person, like this person you may meet, there's some information about this person coming through. Just a hint. Grew up in the same town or city. Maybe you grew up in a big city, and so there's no way you would have been able to meet this person. But you're going to find, like, y'all going to, maybe you might meet this person, um in a place, like, not in a city where you're from. Y'all might be, happen to be, like, somewhere, and you end up meeting them, y'all talking, and you be like, oh, I'm from here, and then they be like, no, no way, I'm from there, like, my family from there, that's why I grew up, or y'all have, like, similar backgrounds or something like that. Something of that nature, to where it's like, you know, hell, you might even went, maybe you went to uh, the same university or college or or something like that the same years and you just never ran into each other because it wasn't time for you to meet you know so it may be something like that um and you might be like oh i went to you know the university of bling 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 and you're like no way i went there you know um or maybe you went to a high school that's big really big and so it's hard to know all of the others like you know what i mean like you had a big class of students Right, so you don't know all of the students in that class because the school's so big. 
Okay, so, and you might be like, oh, you know, I graduated this year. And you be like, no, I am was in the same class of students. But y'all never took no classes together. Y'all ain't never really see each other because it was like a big old school. Now, um, if you know what I mean, okay? Now, I've never been to a school. Like, I only went to a small high school where we all knew each other in that class. We ain't had that many classes of students. But maybe for you or for some of y'all who watch, you went to a big old school and so you had a big class of students to where you don't know all of them. So it can be a situation like that. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And then you be like, well, how is that possible when we want to, you know, accept our maybe, you know, sometimes things happen, you know. Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, make sense of this, okay? All of this can just be simply you and this person, like, it, it, it may be a past life connection or because you know you plan to meet this lifetime that's that familiar feeling you know with this person because you have that connection okay but again um maybe the month of september could be important nine within nine weeks or nine months could be important uh maybe within two months i'm not uh, i'm not getting two weeks maybe the second month february is love near if you want sometimes, but it's gonna always be divine timing. But just to give you some times where it can be a possibility, but again, you gotta want it. Okay, so that's all I have for everybody who selected group number two. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did, in fact, enjoy the reading. That would be very much appreciated. Um, if you would like a private reading for me. All of my information is in the description. All of that information is in the description. Like the prices, what I offer and everything like that. Check it out. My email's down there. And you can send me an email. Read the description carefully. Let me know what you want. And I'll get back to you when I can, okay? Um, if this group didn't resonate, you didn't like it, or you just want to hear another message just to see what it's going to say, you're always welcome to pick another group. That is totally fine. And until next time, beautiful people, hopefully you do come back for another one. Um, uh, bye-bye. And thank you for watching if I didn't say that. But I think I did say that. <laughs> bye, y'all. <laughs> Hello and welcome to everybody who selected group number three. This will be a reading. It's love near, okay? Um, you guys picked the Ace of Diamonds, okay? So the Aces represent the number one. So maybe the number one has a significant meaning to you. You know, maybe um, it could be your life pack number, your soul number, whatever. Maybe you see a lot of ones. You know, Jan maybe you was born in the first month of the year, January. That can be important. Uh, maybe you was born on the first. Uh... It doesn't have to mean anything. It was just here to help you with your selection. But just so some of y'all can have a connection to the reading. Maybe it was born in a year that ends with the number one. Like maybe 1991. Or like 1981. 2001. Uh, 1970. You know, no telling who watching these videos. Um, hmm. I don't know. Just, you know, connected the way that you... Can this can represent the ace of pentacles if this was a tarot card? So, newness, new, new beginning, beginning. See, I'm hearing a lot about like new beginnings and stuff in these groups. That's a good thing. I'm hearing for some of you, if you're a person that's expecting somebody from the past. Oh, you got to let go of somebody from the past in order. Yeah, and when I was saying that the fool, in order to... Let, allow someone new to enter or let go of an idea of a particular person in order to allow a new energy in. I don't know if you resonate with that. That's not going to be for everybody, of course, because it's a general reason. Yeah, let's see. Is a little bit for group number three. What message did you have for group number three, spirit? Is a little near for group number three. Is a little near for group number three. We have rightness. That's the nine of pentacles. The five of swords. 
I'm here. I'm seeing a lot of hmm, the dream is six of cups. That would be the six of cups. And participation. Yeah, so some of you guys have the dream of being married specifically. You want to be married specific moment to moment. That's something that you really you want. That's something you dream of. The four of cups. I'm hearing, I'm so tired of being alone. You're so tired of being alone. I'm, I'm, you're tired of being alone. Like you're over it. I'm so tired of being alone. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You guys are tired of being alone. Three of cups. Strength at the bottom of the deck. Um... You guys have been letting the ego really, really get to you. Uh -huh. You have so many insecurities, specifically about your physical appearance, I'm saying. And that's something you need to really, like, let go. Because, you know, I'm not going to say looks fade because, you know, we, we beautiful as we get old as well. But you're going to get old one day. You're not going to always look the way that you look now. So you need to stop beating yourself down about your physical appearance because this person, if this person only with you, because, I mean, obviously you need to be physically attracted to the person. I can't sit up there and lie that. But if that's the only reason why somebody attracted you just because physically, obviously it starts first with physical attraction. But if that's only reason, then that's a problem. You know, you should be with, want to be with somebody who it goes beyond that. We need you to work. I need you to work on your insecurities. Spirit needs you to work on your insecurities about your physical appearance. Some some of you feel like it's not possible because, you know, this, that, and the third about your appearance, and that is far from the truth. You are, you deserve love regardless of what you look like physically. Okay, everybody, um, is there, they got somebody out there for everybody. Okay, and I know that's like a common saying or it's cliche or generic, whatever you want to call it. But there is somebody out there for you, okay? Um, and some of you, like, feel uh, anger a little bit about it. Like, you're angry. Some of you may be even angry at the opposite sex. Or uh, maybe even if, you know, you in the same sex relationships, like, you know, maybe you're angry at the same sex. Whatever, you know, you might be, even, like, there is some... Anger towards, like, I don't know. It's something here. And we got, you got to clear that out. You know what I mean? That's something you got to, or some type of resentment. It, it can also be resentment from being hurt as well. Or, like, you make it seem like you don't care this, that, and the third, but deep down you want to be loved. You, you, want, you want to be committed and you will, but you have the four of wands twice. The number four can be important for this group because each group has some numbers that's significant to them. And the number four for this group, because we see four, four, four for you, which I will look up the number four in a minute here. And actually the number one. So for this group, it's the number four that's strong. You will be, there will be an engagement, a marriage. There will be a commitment. So regardless, you're going to be loved are in a commitment in a relationship, regardless if it's near or not. That is a guaranteed for this group for sure. This is somebody who you you have it's a special connection for sure that with the dream. Or somebody here that you dreamed about. This is your dream. Right? Hell, for some of you, that, that marriage energy coming up so much, it may, maybe you've been, like, to weddings and stuff like that. You're tired of seeing other people get married or tired of attending weddings, and you're like, well, when is going to be mine? You know what I mean? Like, you're tired of attending. you ready for to be the bride or you ready to be the groom, you know? 
Cause I'm seeing here a lot of y'all been to some a lot like at least um some wedding not maybe not a lot but recently you may have been to weddings or um been to like some sort of engagement party or engagement announcement or maybe even help somebody plan an engagement like for them to propose to somebody you know and the whole time you like you happy for them and all that you helping this person. But at the same time, you're like, I wish this, like, somebody was doing this for me, you know? Or I was doing this for somebody. And it's eating you up inside. I, I, I almost feel like I'm kind of getting choked up. Like, some of you been really upset about this or, you know, crying about it. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let nobody make you feel shame for wanting to be in a committed, like, in a relationship. I know there's some, some shame when it comes to that these days. But you, it, it makes you, it makes you really sad. Like you may look at others and be like, "What?" Um, it's kind of a similar message to Google too, but it's different. Um, you might look at people who've been together. They, they maybe they had like people who they met when they was real young. Um, or it seemed like it was easy for them. You look at them now, it seemed like it was easy for them to just get in fall in love to find this person. Like, why can't my story be this easy? Why it got to be so many fucking steps? You know, that's what it are. It got to be this, this, and that. Like, why does it have to be all of this when it comes to me? And I just don't feel like it's fair. That's what I'm seeing you, you saying. And I understand your frustration. I feel your frustration because spirit let me pick, I'm picking up on your energy, right? You're frustrated. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And it seems like, you know, nothing is working. I've been trying. I've been doing it. I've been going places, this, that, and the third. I feel like nothing is working. Like, I need you to relax, okay? And stay present. You need to be in this moment. Taking one step at a day at a time, okay? You know what you want. And you're going to get what you want, Okay? Hmm. Let's see. I feel like I want to pull a couple more cards for this group. The two of wands. I feel like some of you tried everything. You tried everything. And it's like nothing is working when it comes to. And you're like, I'm tired of trying. I'm trying to be optimistic. It's getting harder every day. And I'm getting more insecure every day. That's what I'm hearing. The cherry at the bottom of the deck. And I'm hearing some sign. I need you to practice uh, mindfulness. Start doing that more. Being in the present. Um, and, you know, stop letting it anger you so, so much. Let's see. Let me see him. Number of stability. Hmm. Four. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, let's see what four 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 is. Yeah, so we have what is I'm just going by the general re meaning that um Google is giving me. Okay. What is angel number 44? Angel number 444 four, 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 four conveys a powerful message of love, support, and guidance from the angels. So you're being guided. You have support from the angels. You're going to get your love, okay? It serves as a reminder that you're on the right path and your angels are by your side offering you unwavering support. So you're not doing nothing wrong, okay? You're doing everything right and you're doing the best that you can, all right? And you're supported. It says, beyond the universe, reminding you that you have a strong connection to the angelic realm. Four for four is typically the thought to be an indicator of positive things to come and assurance that you're on the right path. When four four, when you see four four, the angels are asking you to watch for the signs from them. So you, spirit is giving you signs when it comes to your love life. Okay, so from this day on, you will, you will be getting a lot of signs. Okay, four is the number of I feel like four is a number of commitment and so your the relationship is already yours. It's secure. It's already written. That's something that I'm seeing. Because no, no, four is a number of security as well. And this person who you're calling will be stable, secure. Okay. 
you know, um, maybe you will have a higher cal caliber partner. That's something that's coming in. The connection four can be, you know, being rooted and grounded. Like it's grounding the seed is planted. It's being made like spirit is mixing. I don't know. It's cultivating. It's something is being built. Mm. Um. I feel like you guys in this group, you done well for yourself when it comes to your career and everything like that. You have all of that together. Are you working on that? And you guys, because you guys lead, you know, you, you went, got educated or, you know, you've found something you in like a career you, you love, but you're like, the only thing I'm missing is a partner. Like I have all of that. Some people are like, well, focus on it. You be like, I already have friends. I don't need no more fucking friends. I, I want to be in a relationship. Okay. Cause some people try to p push that friendship thing. Right. You're like, well, you know, great. Okay. I, I can get friends. Friends can provide me with so much. Right. They, you, you don't want to, your friends can't give, it's not the same or as romantic love. It's two different types of love. Okay. You know, so like, I don't, I have enough friends. Okay. I want to be in a romantic relationship now. Okay. I understand the importance of friendship. I got, I, I have friends and I have a career that I love or I have, I'm, I'm working, but I want somebody in my life romantically and don't let nobody make you upset for wanting that is perfectly fine. Okay. As long as it's not your whole world and the only thing that you're going for, that's when it becomes a problem. But yeah, if you like, I got this and that, then, you know, I understand your frustration, you know, because I feel your frustration channeling it with spirit. Like I said, stability, practicality, and strong foundation. So I really feel like you've been doing What, you, what you're supposed to be doing when it comes to finding love. And you're like, I've been doing. Spirit is like, okay, see, remain positive. You got to remain positive about it. The situation will improve, you know, in perfect timing. Spirit is helping uh, you get. It's just like you got to give us some time. We're doing everything that we can to get you this person. Spirit's like, we working. <laughs> you know, they showing me that. Not that spirit is breaking a sweat. You know, um, or you can say spirit in the universe. Um, but they showing me, like, people, like, working as if they, you know, working on machines. Like, that's spirit telling me that it's, it's work. we're doing everything we can. We're trying to get this person and you in the same, uh, on the same level. Align together, you know, it could be something like specifically going on in this person's life that's, you know, it may not be something that you're doing. It may be something on their side. So we just need you to remain positive. We're doing everything we can. We hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Um, we need you to remain, to be strong. Okay, you're stronger than you realize. You already powerful. You guys are leaders in this. You guys actually have your life together. Well, maybe not 100% together. I'm not saying like everything, but as far as you having other, like you have friends, you have a career that you at least enjoy a little bit, or, you know, you have, you know, you know, other parts of your life are functioning. It's not like something that's lacking in other parts of your life. It's just like this part is lacking. Right? Don't let them take your power away. Like, don't give up on love. You Magician. Like, this is something you put, you, you're you manifesting it, so you're doing everything. Just remain positive. The willpower. Stay, look at it with a strong mindset, if that makes sense. We have dig deeper at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Take a close magnifying glass. It's more going on than you realize. 
Um, so as far as time goes, now, now it's gonna always be divine timing over everything. We already know that. But if you do want some type of time, because the number four came through here, maybe you know within four months you can meet this person. So that's quite near. Um, the fourth month, which is April, could be important. Um, the first month, January, because we had that number one, maybe on the fourth of a month, but I don't want to confuse you. The number four, um, can also be for some of y'all, um, I'm also getting called like the end of your birthday, uh, year, like the year you was born. So maybe you was born in like 1994 or 1984, um, Something like that, 1974, whatever year. Um, uh, that's something that's significant. 2024, maybe you might meet this person before the year out. Now, don't, like I said, just take these numbers and stuff with a grain of salt. Because, you know, again, I can't slap a time on it. Because it's, again, divine time. And when the timing you know, it, but it's no, lovely. I don't feel like it's like far out for you guys um, because you've been doing like the most work as far as it, when it comes to like this person coming into your life. Um, hold on. I'm trying to think of something. What's the fourth Ain't cancer the fourth uh, star sign, zodiac sign. So maybe cancer season is important. You can be a cancer, but, you know. Me a fire signs here, too. But, yeah, um, that's what I see for y'all. When As far as that, that goes. Let me, before I close it out, let me see... Um, the numerology for number one. I'm just going by the Google that If you into numerology, you're like, that's not what I'm just going by what I'm reading, okay? As as the first number one stands for determination, independence, opportunity, the indicates a hard working in. Yes, y'all energy. You have that type of energy. Um I feel like you, you could be divine feminist, but you do have a lot of masculine energy as well. Numerology number, number one, is ruled by the sun, making people with the pet number powerful, hardworking, and self-dependent. Self-dependent. Yeah, you're a very independent person. You know, like, I got all that. I just need a partner to, to you know, to match this energy. That's the type of person you want, too. Somebody who mirrors you, match that energy, or at least you want a person that's like that, who's powerful, hardworking, and self-dependent. You are a person who's also very loving towards others. You, you're not jealous of other couples. It's just are jealous of people. you just like, I just want that. You try to cheer everybody on. You try to be happy for everybody. Hmm. But, yeah. <sighs> That's what I see for y'all. Um, hold on. Mm. Hold on, let me see. So the angel number one, 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 get on. Yeah, boosted confidence as well, stronger motivation and decision make decision making. I feel like that's y'all energy. You're normally confident individuals, but when it comes to this section of love, it's like that always been a tough part of your life. This section of your life, or you ain't maybe you ain't been in great relationships. You never had luck, luck and love. That section of your life has always been the hardest part, like section, and everything else has been fine. But yeah, Star does know. Okay, I'm just going by what is, what's going on here. I'm just going by Google. This is coming from different websites. Your guardian angels are looking upon you, ushering you to a place of growth and enlightenment. Yeah, so you. That's what I'm saying here. Just one step at a time. 
this person will be this energy, the king of pentacles, the one who will come into your life. That's some other hints. But that's all I have for everybody who selected group number three. Thank you for watching. Um, if you did, in fact, enjoy the reading, it resonated with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That would be very much appreciated. Um, if you would like a private reading from me, all of that information is, is in the description, like what I offer, the prices and everything like that, my email. So make sure you read the description carefully before you send me an email. Let me know what you want and I'll get back to you when I can, okay? And, uh, you know, if this group didn't resonate, you're always welcome to pick another group or, you know, um, you didn't like it or you just want to hear another message just to see what it's going to say. Go ahead on and pick another group. But I'm going to head on out of here, y'all. And until next time, beautiful people, bye-bye. Have a good one. Hopefully, you do come back for another one.